video I'm going to catalogue uh, the repairs that are going to be carried out and general titivation or can I use titivation on YouTube? What the hell, I've done it. So we'll start at the front here and work our way around it. As you can see, obviously it's colour matching on the bonnet and what have you. I'm not going to go for concourse finish. So all your dents and everything, I'll just get bring these to the right colour. Uh, we've got Ross down here that needs doing. Again, we'll keep that dent character. Eventually I want to get round to doing the wheels. They need repainting. Um, as we come down, we've got a bit of work here on the um, triangle section here. This A pillar. Uh, as you can see that, that needs welding. Uh, this whole sill needs doing. Door here. Um, as you can already see, I've already carried out, so I've cheated a little. I've done some work which I didn't video, but I'll just point out for the eagle eyed. Uh, that was the top of the window frame where the seal rubber goes. Um, if I just pop the window here, the top of the door here needs doing. It's been badly filled with what looks like. Uh, no, it's not body filler. It's, it's like a rubber silicon. Who knows? Uh, obviously the post here needs, top of the B post needs work on it. Just to catch the rust before it gets any worse. Moving into the cab itself. Uh, floor this side doesn't look too bad. I'm going to take it over to Jonathan at Two Peak Peak Two CV uh, to let him have a look over it sometime soon. I'm going to arrange that uh, washer. Put that in my pocket. Uh, so the floor doesn't look too bad. But then again, I'm new to Two CV, so who knows? Top of the door there needs uh, doing. Uh, I haven't done this C pillar because the other side, when I took the wing off, I had a bit uh, poke at it. I'll uh, try and put some pictures in on this video of the actual condition of how it finished, shall we say. So I thought, well, I'll leave it there before I end up with Swiss cheese, as it is French car, not Swiss. Around the window here needs uh, a bit of fettling. Again, we've got a couple of scratches here, there's one in the door there, again I'm not going to go major for it, it'll just be, bring it into the white colour, same with here, so again same with the back wheel, um, this doesn't seem to be too bad until you get down to here, a little bit of body filler maybe, um, again I had a bit poke around, hence the different colour. Uh, is the first thing I can grab my hand on. But as you can see, this light panel's gone. Or is on its way out. So again, I'll get uh, Jonathan at Peak 2 CV to have a look at that. So right, <coughs> inside the boot, we've got uh, a little hole developing there. Nothing too much to get worried about. It's only a hole. Aerodynamics makes it lighter. Along this side here of the inner wing, we've got a bit of crud. And there's a lot of bodgy filler there. And the uh, spare wheel from... Tougher side. Tougher side. From... where was it gone? It's here somewhere. Maybe not, maybe it was outside. Anyway, 2002. It's only 20 years old. Boot lid, I've already uh, done some bodgery with some uh, red hammerite. Got the crust back. I think I'll leave that for now. So 
celebrities people watching. Mm -hmm. Get on YouTube. Right. Same with this back wheel. That wing's not too bad. Um, floor. As you can see here, this is what I was on about with the crust. So this is where we'll try and put a picture in. Um, quite crispy. Crisp delicious there. Again, underneath here, the wing, uh, the sill, looks like it needs replacing. Door's not too bad on that one, I think. Bits of here. Bits of crust up there. Down the sill here, well, this will be getting replaced anyway, so don't need to worry about that. That panel doesn't look too bad, a bit of crusty coming through, but I think if we get at that, that sill's not too bad. On this door, the passenger door, we have um, where it grips the rubber at the bottom, it's missing this end, so I do believe you can get a uh, repair strip for that so we'll be looking at that uh, floor this side uh, looking a bit crispy in that corner there the camera can get his head in so that's looking a bit crispy floor otherwise is quite all right this side some lodges being at the seat So that's that door. Uh, this wing, we're missing f uh, mud flaps either side. They will be replaced eventually. I want to, once I say I'm going to get down to Jonathan's at Peak 2 CV, I want to see if this panel here is supposed to come all the way around or does it just stop there? And the mud flap just goes on with two or three because that looks like it's come off. Should be a little bit longer. I'm thinking. Again the same with this wheel, tied that up eventually. This wing's not so bad. I think it's more, oh there's a bit of crud there but nothing to get excited about. And then up to the front here. On the front here, as I was saying I've already done the top there so I've cheated. But what I want to do is once I've been over to uh, Jono, is I want to try and take the window out and get all this crispiness off here because if we go back round the other side and film here you can see that, that I don't know if you can see that, does that show up on the film? Yeah. that's quite... Yeah. Oh. see how I've taken off? <laughs> but paint shouldn't chip like that so I don't know what the chuff that's about. So what I was thinking of doing was take the windscreen out, obviously wipers off, and take this down around the edge to see exactly what we've got because it just doesn't seem right. Paint that thick. Car will weigh about three three stone less. This white silicon, not happy with that. That'll be coming out. This bonnet uh, hinge, um, so you can see all of that on the camera, yeah. that's knapped. Uh, in, in the business end, I want to try and get the hinge done, but I want to try and retain this um, soundproofing. But other than that, exercise the arm. That's new. That's new pointed out by the cameraman. When we first got it, that was one of the first jobs I had to do. It was spewing oil. Because it's got um, like a diaphragm, I believe, and this is a breather. And it was just basically spewing oil all over the place. But now it's working because I fixed it. That was my very first fix before I was talked into doing a YouTube. So. I ain't taking it off to refilm it just to make it look good. 
so yeah that was fixed everything else in there is just general service I think I'm trying to think where it, oh there it is EKB EKB uh, uh, EKB that's the uh, colour code the cameraman would like to now take his head out the engine close it Oh, headlights, don't need replacing sometime soon. Yeah, the shells and stuff like that, I'm not gonna, like I say, I'm not in for a concourse sort of um, look, it's just gonna be well used but looked after. It's the look I'm after. Right. I look forward to doing other videos, preferably with the admin box, so you can keep that in. Find a location somewhere where it's remote. Uh, look forward to doing some more videos with you. Until then, I'll see you. There's a little side note from our little bit of filmage. We've got. I don't know if that's coming out in the film. Now. We'll have another go. An asthmatic suspension pot. And one more. And I think the uh, rear brake cylinder, I forgot to mention that. Near side rear brake cylinder, that needs replacing. It's uh, weeping, just forgot to get it uh, on film. But uh, I think that'll be the first video that uh, my chief editor will uh, be doing for us.